Finally got the lights from my fall houses. Turn the lights on so we can see what they look like. I've just kind of got an old um, kind of a fall garland in the background. It looks like fall leaves and stuff. And just some little leaves and some little just cut wrapping up to look like hay. Anyway, that's just fun. Hey y'all, I just wanted to hop on real quick. I've never done a what I wore this week kind of thing, but I just wanted to show you what I wore today because it was so cool out this morning, I thought I would just put on my fall outfit. These are just some uh, LuLaRoe leggings that I have in kind of fall colors with leaves on it with this brown top that came from Kato's years ago. And I think this necklace came from Kato's as well. It's actually missing a little stone, but I still think it's pretty and it looks very polish. I just wanted to show y'all that. And also, a few things that I picked up at Walmart a little while ago. I can't wait to sit down and read about some fall baking. I'm excited about that. And then, I found this darling little coffee mug, but it's actually a candle that says morning pumpkin. And there were some that said things about pumpkin spice lattes and thankful and that sort of thing, but I love this color of this. And then my favorite little drink, you know, things with a straw, my little cups that have some Halloween things on it and they glow in the dark. And there's four different kinds, like there's a ghost and maybe it's skeletons and something about a witch. Just something kind of cute and Halloween-y. I thought it'd be fun to drink my iced coffee out of in the morning. So anyway, I just want to show you these cute things, plus more pumpkins, more pumpkins. So these came from um, Walmart and they were like, I don't know, 98 cents a piece. Super cute, can't wait to put them in my dining room. I'm gonna start decorating in there this weekend. So watch for that video. And I got a new uh, Nadine West bag in the mail today. So I'll be doing a try on for that, all right? Thanks, y'all. See you soon. Oh, and y'all, one more thing I wanted to show y'all just about those cups because I love them so much. I already have some of those that I've decorated with my silhouette machine, and I did this one a couple of weeks ago. Eee, can't wait for Hocus Pocus. All right, my porch is ready for Halloween. I added my big metal pumpkin down here. I just got him the other day. Can't wait to get him all lit up. Night. Isn't that the coolest? Love that. Then I added my boo door hanger that I made a few years ago. And I just kind of changed out the decorations in my rocking chair, put my trick or treat pillow. And then my favorite thing, I'm gonna do a tutorial and show y'all how I made these pumpkin light covers. And they turn the lights on it glows I'll get a picture at night for you love these so stay tuned for that getting ready for Halloween oh. 
course, the minute I come out here to show y'all the back porch, the air conditioning turns on, so I hope it's not too loud for you, but we've just got like a little screened in back porch here. A little wicker set. I've got a pretty mom from Walmart, just some pillows I got from Walmart last year. And I've just kind of taken uh, what I had on my front porch, the little throw in those two pillows from the rocking chair and put back here. And then I've just got like a little pumpkin, little candles in it. I'll probably light those at some point. Anyway, nothing, nothing major out here. I'm actually thinking of maybe painting the, the wicker on this. Um, maybe navy or even black and getting some new cushions in the spring. But, but right now, this is what it looks like. y'all I thought I'd take just a minute and show y'all how easy it is to make one of these jack-o-lantern light covers for your front porch for trick-or-treaters. You're just going to get one of these cheap one dollar little plastic trick-or-treat pumpkins. I got this one at um, Dollar Tree or no Walmart last year for like 98 cents. They usually have a big bin in the middle of the aisle with all different colors. I chose orange. So you're going to look here at the back of the pumpkin you're gonna just cut a line, and I've already done that right at the back where you see these little little ridges of the pumpkin. You're just gonna cut with regular scissors right up the back. It's pretty easy. You know, if you had some tin snips, that would even make it easier. But this is pretty thin and flexible plastic here. And then you're gonna come down here to the bottom, and I've already removed the bottom of it. But around the bottom, you know, just the, the circle that's around the bottom, you're gonna cut around the, the edge of that with your scissors or a box cutter. Tin snips would really work great. Make sure your scissors are, are um, you know, good and sharp. Mine were not, it gave, gave me a little bit of trouble this year. It's probably because I'm using the same scissors I used last year to make the ones that are on my porch now, and they've gotten dull. But this is pretty thin um, plastic. It is a little bit thicker on the bottom, especially the closer you get to this, this circle. But anyway, once you have that done, you're gonna have a hole in the top and the bottom. And this area down the, the back is gonna be opened up. And you'll just kind of pull this apart and put it right around your lamp on your porch. So it doesn't matter how big or how small, this is gonna kind of close back around it. it kind of stretches out. We'll go outside and I'll show you how we'll do that. Okay, y'all, I'm out here on my back porch right now. And this is a lot smaller lantern than what I have on my front porch, but it works just as well. So you just kind of kind of spread the pumpkin open a little bit on the back. Get it right over that. So it's going to kind of grab it and go back in. There you go. Let me raise this up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And let me go turn on the light so you can really see how cute it looks at night. Look how great that looks. Isn't that darling? I'll show you the ones on the front porch too, which are so fun for trick-or-treaters. And you could use any color pumpkin, but I just like the traditional. All right, y'all enjoy. That's a lot of fun to make too. See, I've got a lot bigger lanterns out here, but it just works just as well.